Yo, what is up guys? I'm Hussam here. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about uh, Rust functions. So far, we've been working uh, with Rust functions in our uh, programs, uh, which uh, that was the main uh, function. So uh, functions are a part of code in Rust uh, that they can be uh, used uh, in multiple uh, places. Uh, and we can uh, declare them using the uh, fn uh, function. For example, I can here define another function called uh, another function. And uh, here uh, inside the uh, brackets, I can add my code. For example, here uh, I can print another function. Uh, and now I can simply call uh, the function here uh, using its name and uh, set up a parenthesis here uh, when the rust reaches here uh, it will jump here and uh, run my code here we can see the result uh, here uh, after uh, printing uh, the hello world uh, here we have another function it doesn't matter uh, if you declare this function after uh, the color function or before that uh, Rust just want to see this function this function should be uh, inside the scope of uh, this function so here you can see uh, we have uh, exactly the same result our functions uh, in Rust can also have uh, parameters uh, which uh, we can uh, pass inside uh, these uh, parentheses for example here i can create a parameter named x uh, which is i32 uh, and here i can say the value of x is x uh, so uh, i can interpolate the value of x here and here i need to pass the value of x for example if i say 5 uh, the uh, value of 5 will be passed as the uh, x parameter here and will be uh, shown here let's see that uh, here you can see uh, the value of x is uh, 5 in rust uh, we can have uh, multiple uh, parameters um, for example uh, let me uh, create another function uh, print labeled measurement uh, but the important thing is uh, we need to specify uh, the type of uh, any uh, parameters that uh, we are uh, passing here uh, so this is very important if i don't uh, specify this uh, variable type uh, we get uh, an error so here we have a value and a unit which is simply a character and here we can say measurement is value and then we have a unit here so here uh, we get a value uh, and uh, print it alongside uh, with uh, with its uh, unit let's use this function so for the value i will pass 5 and for for the unit i will uh, pass h and now let's run the project here uh, you can see uh, the measurement is 5 hours so we can uh, have uh, different arguments or parameters uh, with uh, different types but we must specify uh, our type of uh, parameters so uh, one thing that i uh, want to talk about here uh, is the difference between uh, statements and expressions uh, in rust uh, so uh, when we have a line of code uh, that uh, would return nothing for us for example let's say uh, we have a variable called x and we declare as 5 uh, this line of code 
will not return any value for us. So uh, this is called uh, a statement uh, in Rust. Uh, for example, here this line also does not return anything. Uh, this just uh, declares a function. Uh, so this is a statement here. Uh, but uh, for example, uh, if uh, we have uh, something here to return i32, sorry, i32, uh, and in the last line I pass 5, this is an expression because uh, here we are returning uh, a value. And here, uh, only this section uh, is an expression too. Uh, so expressions are returning uh, value, but uh, statements uh, are not uh, returning value. And for example, here, if I say another let uh, y equals 5, here you can see uh, we get an error here because uh, this line is not an expression and will not return uh, any value. Uh, so we can do things like this uh, in Rust language and uh, we get uh, invalid uh, result and uh, we can't uh, run uh, our code. But uh, if I put a curly braces here uh, and remove this 5 from here, I can uh, uh, place expressions here. Uh, for example, I can uh, let another variable here, which is 5, and I can uh, add uh, y plus, for example, 2. This line here is an expression. If I put a semicolon here, this will be an statement. This is very important. So uh, when you see lines like this, you can uh, know uh, you know, these are uh, states uh, sorry these are expressions and these are not uh, statements here you can see uh, c line shows us that uh, the type of this variable uh, will be i32 but if i uh, put a state uh, put a semicolon here you can see uh, the c lion now infers the type as empty parentheses which uh, we, in rust uh, we call this empty parentheses uh, unit type uh, which means uh, nothing empty value so uh, I will remove the semicolon and now x uh, is uh, 5 plus 2 which is uh, 7 now uh, let me show the value of x here and now when I uh, run our project uh, you can see the value of x is uh, 7 so uh, this difference between statements and expressions is very important uh, in Rust uh, and I want you to uh, keep, it, keep that in your mind because uh, we will uh, refer that in later videos and this is uh, very important. So as we know here just in this section I can put any expressions and returning back to our functions we can define functions that return values. Uh, so uh, we can use expressions to return values from our functions. For example, I can create a function uh, that we call 5. Uh, we don't need any parameters. Um, I can define the return value with a, a hyphen uh, and a greater sign value. Oops, sorry. A greater sign value. Uh, here, um, um, this font is uh, using ligatures, but uh, actually this is a... Uh, greater sign value and uh, a hyphen or minus. Uh, if I put these together, uh, CLM will show this as a ligature like this. Uh, and I can say uh, the output of this function uh, will be i32. And now I can define uh, the body of function. Now you can see here uh, CLM complains that uh, we are not returning any value. If I put a 5 here, uh, this red line uh, goes from here uh, but I should remember I can not uh, uh, put semicolon here if I put the semicolon here uh, the value uh, will be an empty parenthesis so uh, I can remove the 5 from here uh, in Rust the last line will be uh, our returning value of a function uh, we will talk about that in a sec but uh, let's just uh, call this 
function and uh, see how it works okay here you can see the value of x is 5 uh, because this section only this section here is an expression uh, we can get the value of this function and assign this to the x value but the whole line here is a statement uh, and doesn't return any value so here uh, we can add uh, some more functionality let's uh, change this to plus one and uh, get a variable here called x which is i32 i want to return a value which uh, is x plus one so anything i pass here um, will be added by one and uh, returns as the result of this uh, function uh, here i can pass five i want to talk uh, about uh, some more ways to return from functions for example uh, here if I uh, print some value, first section for example, and if I have another section here, you can see now uh, Ross is complaining that uh, we can uh, not place this expression here. So I need to uh, put a semicolon here but uh, this is invalid because uh, when we reach here uh, as you can see uh, c line indicates uh, this line will return nothing so we have an empty parenthesis uh, and if i uh, run the project you can see uh, rust is complaining that uh, cannot run this uh, project so uh, we have multiple approaches here to solve this issue one of them is to uh, using the return uh, keyword here if I sorry, if I uh, use the uh, return keyboard here, uh, you can see now we are returning early from our function. If I run the project, you can see uh, we have first section here which comes from this line, and we have the result of our function which comes from here. But we don't have uh, this section, and uh, Rust uh, complains about that here uh, with a warning uh, section uh, you can see the warning here uh, that says uh, this line is uh, unused uh, and will not reach uh, this line but uh, we can see uh, here we can use return keyword to uh, returning from functions early and if i just remove return and place this line uh, at the end of our project and remove the semicolon here you can see uh, our code works as normal and here we have first, uh, first section sorry and second section now we have second section and our uh, return value is now uh, correct and uh, this expression works uh, correctly so i hope you enjoyed this video and learned about functions uh, in rust functions are very powerful in rust and uh, we will work with them uh, in future videos and i hope you uh, found the difference uh, between uh, statements and uh, expressions so don't uh, forget to subscribe to our uh, channel and like this video thanks for watching see you in the next one